Hey guys, Laura with Evolution Pilates Studio here to bring you a bar less bar workout. All you'll need for this workout today is a mat, some light hand weights, and a squishy ball. I will not be using a steady surface, but as always, listen to your body. If you feel like you would like to have a chair or a wall close by for balance, please feel free. When you're ready, grab your equipment and we will get started. So come to the center of your mat. Let's start with our feet right underneath the hips with some big shoulder rolls up, back, and down. Nice. Reverse that shoulder roll and go forward. Last two. Last one. Big inhale up. Exhale it out. Press the arms away. Inhale it up. Exhale it out. Let's do two more just like that. Big reach. Last time, big reach. Nice, side step, side to side. Left and right. Arms pulling forward and back. Nice big step, side to side. Good. Bend those knees. Beautiful, eight more here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two to each side. We go left. We go right. Nice. Good. Already draw that navel into the spine. Start to work those abdominals. Last two. Last time. Step to the center. Let's reach and rotate. Good. So you're stretching through your fingertips. You're rotating at the waist, the hip, the knee, and the toe. Beautiful job. Get a little deeper in those legs. Widen the feet on the mat. You've got eight and seven. Good, four more here. Last two. Big reach overhead coming your way. Bend and reach. Nice, so you can stay here with both feet, both feet grounded or add a little leg lift out to the side to activate those outer hips. Keep it up, guys. You've got eight and seven. Stretch those toes, six. Good, last four. Now the feet are super wide already. We're gonna start reaching down to the floor. Here we go. Reach left, reach right. Other arm is stretching back behind you. Eight, good, seven. Last four, three, last two, and last time. Hold it over on one side, bring your hands to your thigh, lift your heart a little bit, and now we lift up to the ball of the foot and press the heel down, up and down. Nice. Roll up into the big toe and second toe, just warming up through that ankle. Four more here. Last two. And last time, come up and over other way, other heel lifts. Beautiful job, guys. Four more here. Three. Last two. And last time, beautiful. Shift your weight to the middle of the mat. Turn your knees and toes out, hands to the thighs. Pulse down towards the floor here. Nice, now we're gonna do an alternating heel lift. Right and lower. Left and lower. Good. Draw that belly in. Send your tailbone straight to the ground. Beautiful. Press those thigh bones back to open up the hips. Eight. Seven. Six. Find the depth in those legs. Nice. Four more. Last two. Last time, leave one heel up. That same arm is gonna come to the sky. And we're gonna do a little pull here. Rip to hip, rip to hip. Good, so lots of lateral flexion in this workout today to work those obliques. This is just warming them up. You've got eight, can you get lower? Seven, six, 
Nice, four more. Last two. Last time, other side. Pull, pull, rip to hip, slide that elbow down. Can you get it a little bit deeper in those legs? Nice, eight, seven, six. Good, four more here. Three, last two, last one. Ground both heels, hinge the upper body forward, little pulse. If those weights are right in front of you, we're gonna take a pause just to pick them up. That's it, now hold them right at your chest. Take your time, find your position again if you had to step away from your mat. Good, you've got eight, seven. That's it, sitting the tailbone down and back, four more. And three, last two, last one. Now listen, we open, close, press overhead. Open, close, press overhead. If that overhead press is too much, you can make the movement a bit smaller to protect those shoulders. Nice, eight, seven, good, six. Keep exhaling that breath. Four more here. Good. Last time. Nice. Now hold those arms wide. Reach your body over to one side. Little pulse down. So one arm reaching up, one arm reaching down to the floor. Good. Still you have a little bit of forward hinge in the hips. Nice. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Come center and we switch. Reach through those arms, make your wingspan nice and wide. Nice, last eight, seven, four, three, four, and four. Here we go. Center, switch. Center, switch. Nice. Keep it going, guys. Two more here. Last time. Let's try for singles. Here we go. Center, expand. Center, expand. Four more. And three. Nice, last two. And last time. Good, step those feet in towards one another. Parallel feet. Hands again right at the heart. Hinge at the hips, bend the knees. Pulse down and up. Just pause here. Get a little slower in your movements. Nice, you've got eight, seven. Sink those hips down and back, work the glutes and the quads. Four more. Last two. Let's add some arms, right arm and left arm expand. Open, forward, open, forward. That's it. Four more to come. Four. Good. Three. Last two. Last one. Let's bring both arms back. I'm going to turn side here. We're going to extend and bend at the elbow. Maybe one leg reaches forward. Good. Now your spine is slightly rounded. Tailbone tucking under. And we're going to use those abdominals to add a leg lift. The leg lift is optional. You could have that toe down on the ground the whole time. Good. Eight more here. Seven. Six. Last three. Two. Hold that leg up, maybe. Hold the arms long, little pulse. Reach to the fingertips now. Nice balance, eight. Seven, four, three, two, bring the foot down, switch it out. The toe comes forward, round the spine, pull that belly button in. Turn the palms up this round. 
Option to then lift that leg. Exhale on the lift. Four more here. Three. Last two. Pull the leg up, arms back, little pulse. Again, that foot can be grounded on the floor. Listen to how your body is feeling today. Eight more. Squeeze those triceps. Six, four, three, two. Step forward. We pull slow and reach. Slow and reach. Good. Now this can be a tap or a balance. You can balance front and back if you're feeling it today. Four more. Standing knees nice and bent. Last two. Last time. A little quicker here. In, in, in. Get a little deeper. Good. Reach those hands towards the floor. Eight. Seven. Nice. Four more here. Beautiful. Last two. Last time. Bring those hands down to the floor. Now you can hold your weight or have your hands on the floor. Bring your feet back into a plank and slow knee pulls in. One and two. One and two. If hands on the floor is too much, you could elevate your hands on a bench, on a sturdy surface to take the weight out of the upper body. Four more here. Three. Last two. Last one. Now let's just go to the left side only. We're gonna start to bring the elbow to the, or the knee to the elbow. On this exercise, the back knee can be down. Inhale, exhale. Good. Four more here. Three. Last two. Hug the knee into the elbow, little squeeze. In and in. Flex the spine to the side just slightly. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Stand it all the way up. Lift your body up. Bring your waist with you. Other side. Other foot forward. Slow tap in. Tap in and reach. Good. Option to hover. Again, that standing knee is nice and bent. Eight. Seven. Good, four more here. Last two. Little quicker if you want. In, reach the upper torso towards the floor. Reach the weights down. Remember, you can always take the foot down to the floor for balance. Eight. Seven, four, three, weights to the floor. Hands on the floor or on those weights. Step it back into your plank. Slow knee drives. Inhale, exhale, pull. Engaging through those abdominals. A few more here. Last two. Now your other knee. Pull reach pull reach good for me i am on my right side now back knee down or lifted four more here three last two double time little pulse in in that's it eight more eight Seven, six, four, three, two, and rest. Knees down. Brief child's pose. Just take a second. Beautiful job. Now we are going to come back down onto our forearms now. Back forearm is down on the mat. Front hand is propped up. Your front leg is going to extend. And then we just lift it. Lift up and down. So draw your abdominals up and in. Lift through those hips. Good. Option, weight comes into the top hand and we hold it to the sky. That's it. Exhale on the lift. Nice. 
Four more here. The last two. Hold that leg nice and high, little lifts at the top. Squeeze the outer hip. Squeeze, squeeze. Nice, start to work that hand overhead. Again, the weight is optional. We've got four more pulses, three and then a knee to the elbow. Here we go. Knee in, stretch, in, stretch. Four more here. Good, four, three, last two. Less time, knee to elbow, little squeeze. Good. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Come down to both forearms. Just hold that weight between the hands. Elbows are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. That same leg that was just lifted continues to stay lifted. Lift and lower that leg. Right from the glute and the hamstring here. Up and down. Up and down. Eight. Seven. Good. Four more. Last two. Pull that leg up. Move it side to side. We go left. Right. Good. Now the hips are trying to stay as steady as possible. So is the upper body and core. Four more here. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. Let's make that slide to side a little U. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Four more here. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. Bring the leg out to the side. Prop yourself back up on that same hand. We're back to those little lifts. Last round. Nice. Eight. Make it precise. Good, lift it high. Squeeze. Good, four more. Three. Last two. And last time. Bring that knee down. We're just gonna flip it right over to the other side. Take your time. I'm gonna just change direction so I can face you. Back hand or back forearm is down on the mat. Top arm is propped up. Your front leg is extended long. Slow lift. Up and down. Up and down. You got it. Relax your shoulders. Nice long neck. Good. Four more at this pace. And three. Last two, hold it at the top, little tiny pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, top arm to the sky. One more set of eight. Eight, seven, start to work that arm out. Four, three, two, slow knee to elbow, in and stretch. Remember that weight is optional. Nice, four, three, Two, knee to elbow, little pulse, you got eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Place that weight down in front of you, right in between the hands. Same leg goes back behind you. Square off that pelvis to the mat and lift. Hey now, honey, and lift. Exhale on the lift, really stretch through the toes. Four more here. Last two. Pull the leg up, slide it side to side. Left, right. My allergies are killing me today. Nice, it's a hay fever season here. We've got four, three, last two. Here's our U shape, here we go. Down lift, down lift. Nice, you've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg up and out. Come back onto that hand propped up. We lift, lift, little baby lifts. 
as high as you can make that leg towards the sky. That's it. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, full range, down and up. Just four more. Three, nice, last two, and last time. Beautiful job. Lower all the way down for a moment. Let's take a little stretch, just watch that weight. Take your knees over to one side, open your chest up towards the sky. Just relax that hip for a moment. Good. Quick up and over, little stretch on the other side. Nice. From here, we are gonna lay on our side, propped up on our forearm, elbow under shoulder, have that weight handy if you'd like. Let's lift the knees, I'm sorry, lift the hips and lower the hips. Knees can be down on the mat, or top leg extended here. And that's it. Keep pressing the floor away with that forearm. Option to hold the weight in the hand. Lift it to the sky. Good. As the hips go up, the arm comes towards the thigh. Weight or no weight. Four. Nice. Three. Last two. Hand to thigh. Little pulse. Eight. Seven. It's not such a big movement. You're just using those obliques to lift the hips. Last four. Last three. Last time. And lower. Sit all the way up. Bend both knees. Take a little side bend here. Ah. Nice. Up and over other side. Just flip those feet the other direction. Come down to the forearm. Knees are bent to begin. Elbow under shoulder. Press the floor away. Weight or no weight. Here we go. Let's just lift and lower the hips here. Nice. Then find your leg position that you feel comfortable with and maybe add the weight. Up and down. That's it. Good, add the arm. Palm facing towards the thigh. Lifting and lowering those hips still. Almost there. Exhale in that lift, four more here. Four. Hold on to it, last two. Last time, hand to thigh, little pulse, you got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Woo, lift it all the way up. Put that weight off to the side. We will not use it for this next little set. Reach up and over, big stretch. Nice job so far, guys. We're getting there. Okay, now your legs are in this little Z position. I'm gonna take my front shin a little more parallel to the front of my mat. I'm gonna take my back knee and try to bring it behind my back hip. Then I'm gonna rotate my toes towards the ceiling and bring my hands forward. This is called pretzel. If you want, hands move towards your front knee to give yourself a little more space. Flex the back foot. Maybe the knee hovers and we push back. And back, if the knee is not hovering today, just push back and squeeze the glute. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice, eight. Seven, six, four more here, three, last two, last one. Now listen, dip the elbow down and up, elbow down and up. As the elbow comes down, maybe that knee gets to float a little higher off the floor. Good, now add a leg extension, we reach and bend, and reach, and bend. One more add-on if you want, reach, kick, bring it back and bend. Reach, kick, bring it back and bend. A few more here. Nice, two more like this, good. And then you have the option to pick up the pace. Come with me if you'd like, here we go, kick. Nice and gentle, elbow to the ground. You've got four more here. Three. 
last two, you're down on your forearm, your foot is forward, little lifts. Maybe tuck into the head, lean that torso back. Use the outer hip to lift the foot. Eight, seven, six, four, three, sweep the leg to the side, last set. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Take that leg that was just working, bring it across your other leg, and take a little twist here. Let go of that side. Nice job. All right, let's switch it out. So your other shin is going to come parallel to the front edge of your mat. You're gonna bring your back knee behind your back hip. Rotate that toe to the ceiling. Hands go forward. Option to float them over, right around the front knee, off to the side, flex the foot. We push. Again, knee may not be lifted. Exhale, press. Nice, four more here. Three, really squeeze that glute. Two, and one. Now we come down to the forearm. And back up, you can just relax the foot here, down to the forearm, and up. Option to add that kick, stretch, bend, stretch, bend. Two more like this, and then we add on one more time. Good, option to add that kick forward, here we go. Reach, and bend, reach, and bend. Nice, four more at this pace, and then pick it up with me if you'd like. Three, last two, and last one. Here we go if you want. Up and down, up and down. Four more, exhale as that kick goes forward. Last two, hold the leg forward on this last one. Lean the upper body back, maybe the top hand comes behind the head. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Last set, sweep it right to the side. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, sit all the way up. Take that working leg across the bottom leg. Take your twist. Relax those hips. Nice. All right, bring the soles of your feet together. Open up those hips a little more. Take your time with this. Okay, so we are gonna grab our ball finally. So grab that squishy ball. We're gonna place it behind our low back. Now you have the option, as always, to use weights. I'm gonna take mine and just put them next to my hips. You do not have to use weights. Squish that ball right underneath the sacrum here. Tuck the tailbone under and bring your feet into a Pilates V. So heels together, toes apart. Knees, hips distance apart. Hands behind the thighs to start. Deeply scoop out the belly and then come up and down in the upper body. Good. So you're thinking, let's bring our chest up over our ribs. Chest over ribs. Good, option, weights. Inhale, exhale, lift. Squeeze your heels together. Maybe flex those toes up to the ceiling. And imagine you're drawing your heels towards your glutes every time you lift up away from the floor. Nice, eight, seven, six. Bring the weights forward of the chest, keep going. Three, last two, last one. Now open and close those arms. Good, if you have no weight, you have the option to have one hand on the thigh. We will do two sets of this exercise, so your following set will just change arms. Nice, four more here. Three, two, now one arm to the sky, one arm closer to the floor, like an alligator, open and close. Again, this can be one arm. Nice, eight, seven, Four more to come. Last two. 
last time. Weights come down, hold those thighs, reassess your position, scoop out that belly, chest coming up over the ribs. Round two of two, squeeze those heels together, draw them towards you, maybe grab the weights forward and up with those weights. Four, start to bring the weights closer to the midline of the body. Good. Two more like this, two. Last one, add that open as you come back. Open, close. Here's your chance to work that other side. Open, close. Open, close. You got it. Start to angle those hands. One arm down, one arm up. Four more here. Four. Three. Last two. And last time. Weights down. Hands to the thighs. Good. Hands on top of the knees. Slide back, slide forward. Put a little downward pressure on the upper thighs. Create that resistance for yourself. Four more here. And three. Last two. Last time. Shimmy those shoulders. Right and left. Hands on the thighs for more support. Hands on top of the knees for less support. Pull the shoulders back and back, back and back. Little quicker if you want. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Last eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Lift the torso up, hands to the front of the shins. Stretch the spine nice and long here. Good, grab that ball. We're gonna place it between the knees and roll all the way down and up to our back. Weights are handy. Good, knees and tabletop, maybe the weights go to the sky from here. We lower the toes forward a little bit and lift them a little bit. It can be a range of motion of just an inch, or you can tap those toes all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Now soften the elbows out to the side a little bit. As the knees go forward, one arm goes out to the side and up and then the other. So we're gonna alternate sides. Good, just a few more here. Your back should be nice and close to the floor. So if it feels like it's arching, just make your range of motion a little bit smaller and concentrate on pulling that low belly down to the floor. Just a few more here. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Let's stay on whatever side you're on. Little pulse up and down with arms and legs. Arm and legs. Good. Four more here. Three. Last two. Last time. Other side. Down. And little pulse. Four more here. Three. Last two. And last time. Very nice. Toes down to the sky. Weights down to the floor. Remove that ball. Get it out of your way. Toes to the ceiling. Maybe pick up those weights again. Reach towards the toes. Lift. 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 Good. Now, if your neck starts to bother you, bring both hands behind the head instead and just get rid of those weights. Eight. Seven. Four. Three. One more set of eight. Last set of eight. Six. Four. Three. Two and one. Lower the hands down by the sides. Draw the knees into the chest. Lift the hips like a little bit and then reach those toes out forward. Lift a little and reach. Good, just two more like this. You can choose the angle of your legs so the legs can go very high. Nice, now angle those knees to one shoulder, right. Extend center. Left. Extend center. One more at this pace each side. Last time. 
Let's go a little bit quicker. Extend and pull, extend and pull. That's it, almost there. Eight, seven. Four more. Last two. And last time. Now hold those legs out on an angle and crisscross the feet. Last exercise here. Choose an angle that's challenging for you. You've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Hug those knees into the chest. Woo. Rock a little side to side. Beautiful. Hug one knee into the chest. The other leg extends. Circle the ankles. Switch it out. Nice. Drop one foot to the floor. The other leg goes to the sky. Stretch out the back of that leg. Take your lifted leg, cross it over the other, and let the knees drop to one side. Make sure those weights are just out of your way. Open the chest up to the ceiling. Just rotate. Nice. Same cross of the legs, just let the knees drop over to the other side. Back center, uncross, other leg goes to the ceiling, hamstring stretch. Good, cross your legs, let the knees drop to one side, open the chest up towards the sky. And up and over, other way. Cross the legs, pull over onto one side. Let's sit all the way up, facing front. Take those feet super wide on the mat. Toes pointing up to the ceiling. Stretch forward. Good, coming down to the forearms. If it feels comfortable, you can stretch your body all the way out. Good, prop yourself up, side bend. Stretch through that top hand. Good. Up and over. Stretch. Come center. Come forward one more time. Beautiful. Come up. Find a nice cross leg position. Inhale the arms up overhead. Rotate the spine to one side. Up through center and twist the other way. Come center, round the spine back and arch the spine forward. One more time, round the spine back and arch the spine forward. Beautiful job today, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications down below. Leave comments and questions for me down below as well. I'd love to hear what you think of this workout. And again, thanks so much for coming. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.